But let's talk about what we did see on Thursday because there were a couple games. And we talked on Wednesday kind of previewing just a little bit of a look ahead at Jack Leiter's debut. We watched him pitch against the Tigers yesterday afternoon. I understand. You, I watched it pretty closely as well. It seems like you were you were pretty locked in on this game. So yeah, just just quick quick impressions here. What did, what did we see? Obviously, it didn't it didn't go great. He he allowed a bunch of runs and, and got knocked around a little bit. It started off good, right? He strikes out the first guy in three pitches. He shows a nasty changeup. It quickly we sort of quickly started to see what sort of issues he could be running into as a major league starter. So yeah, we talked about lighter the other day. Second overall pick, really hyped. His dad's very famous. Um, but his prospect stock has fallen over the last couple of years. And you could see why in his debut on Thursday. The issue, right, is that the fastball command is kind of all over the place. And he gets behind and counts, especially in the second inning. And the secondary stuff, like the slider almost moves too much where it never really looks like a strike. And so guys are able to lay off of it. And once he gets behind and counts and the fastball's low in the zone, it's just not a very good pitch. And he just got hit around really hard in the second inning. Now, he did flash some stuff like the fastball when it's at the top of the zone, 96 miles an hour, it's got good ride to it is a really good pitch. But when it's 93 and down, like it's not that special. He threw a couple change ups that I thought were really yeah. good. Struck yes. out Kerry Carpenter on a combio. That was nice. Yep. But as a Twice, whole, like I, I think. Mm-hmm. I was not impressed. Yeah. So my two my two takeaways. One is just what you just mentioned, the change up there. Pitch, he, he really was like a clear third or fourth offering for him in the minors this year. And, and as we've seen him, get, you know, in the upper minors with Texas. But I think for for what we, we talked about on Wednesday is, OK, his issues so far in pro ball have been command, but also just straight control. Right. I mean, he was walking you know, five, six guys per nine over the last couple seasons. And that's that's totally untenable. And so when he goes down in his first few starts or first few outings in, in the minors this year and he only walks three guys, it's like, okay, great. Oh, maybe he's improved in that in that, you know, aspect. But this is a an incredible example of the difference between command and control. Because if you Which is unless, what? which is what? <laughs> which is Control is throwing strikes and and not walking the house. Maybe he has improved in that aspect. Command is actually throwing the ball where you want to throw it in order to get the best hitters in the world out. And that was something that Jack Leiter clearly struggled with yesterday. And the difference between his fastball at the top of the zone and the bottom of the zone was was very apparent on top of, you know, his struggles locating the slider when he when he really needed to. So, you know, there's there's still ingredients there. I am curious if maybe the changeup does become more of a weapon, certainly against left-handers, but that looked even better than I feel like I've ever seen it. So, you know, not not the best start for him, for sure, especially when he kind of already, he had multiple leads that he coughed up. So that was a situation where, where maybe that factored into it too, where he felt like he had a lead and he felt like he could attack the zone and he was getting punished for it. It's one start, but it, it is going to be interesting. And I said this on Wednesday, this was going to be true no matter how yesterday went. How much are they going to rely on him this year? Is this someone they actually want to give another round of the rotation? Or is this still someone that has a lot of things to work out in AAA? You're right. It's one start, but it was one start in which all of the issues we anticipated and were worried about kind of came to the fore sure. against the best hitters in the world and left me as concerned about Jack Leiter. I know you're laughing at me saying the Tigers are the best hitters in the world. I know that's what that laugh was. <laughs> no, but, but I mean true, big but leaguers. No, but it's that's I I that is exactly what I'm laughing at. And it's also exactly correct. Like that <laughs> it is a massive difference. And again, you joke all that we joke all the oh, the Norfolk Tides could kick the White Sox ass. Like again, no. difference between Triple A and the big leagues is gigantic. And so yes, the Tigers offense is not the scariest. And but guess what? If you miss your fastball spot to Spencer Torkelson, no matter how slow of start to the season is gonna have he is going to crush it. Same thing with literally Javi Baez, who looks to be, you know, you would think one of the easiest downs in baseball right now. He's still Javi Baez. He's still a major league hitter. He will crush your fastball in the wrong part of the zone. 